In writing a 365-page book targeting the Church of Scientology, Lawrence Wright sought out a tiny group of disgruntled ex-members led by this man, expelled from the church for financial misconduct, deception, ineptitude, and violence. Nearly all of Wright's sources were dismissed from the church for similar offenses, including embezzlement, financial wrongdoing, sexual misconduct, physical abuse, and severe violations of church doctrine. Yet these are the individuals Lawrence Wright uses to impugn the character of the church and its leader, a man responsible for a worldwide religion and its unprecedented expansion, and under whose stewardship the church's social betterment programs have become the largest non-governmental anti-drug and human rights campaigns on earth. But in writing his so-called expose on Scientology, Lawrence Wright's sources were far from credible, and Wright knew it. Their allegations so far-fetched that a federal judge and an appeals court dismissed them as baseless. Lawrence Wright ignored that. And when the church provided thousands of pages of evidence documenting the falsehood of those claims, Lawrence Wright continued to present the allegations as fact. When asked in a journalist forum, do you believe that journalism can lead to truth? Wright had this to say. Truth is one of those subjective terms that are pointless to get too tied up about. Wright's book was released in January 2013, but failed to generate reader interest. Still, it found itself immediately steeped in controversy about the veracity of its claims, so much so that the book's publisher would not release it in Britain, Ireland, Canada, or Australia because of their libel laws. The chances of losing a lawsuit were simply too great. Now, documentary filmmaker Alex Gibney has taken Lawrence Wright's book at its word without question or examination. I, I, I utterly trusted Larry. I wasn't looking for, you know, holes in his story. Over the two years Gibney quietly worked on his documentary, he never once contacted the church, visited a church, or spoke to any of its members. His documentary was in the can before he even mentioned it to them. And to this day, Gibney refuses to reveal his allegations to the church. Let's take a closer look at Wright and Gibney's sources. Meet Facebook friend of Lawrence Wright, Jesse Prince, expelled from the church over two decades ago for misconduct and hiding his criminal past, used as a source for Lawrence Wright's book, the basis for Alex Gibney's cable documentary. But what Wright is not telling you is that Jesse Prince's criminal background includes offenses such as an arrest for contributing to the sexual delinquency of a child with whom he fathered a baby, two DWIs, and a criminal charge for walking naked down the middle of a busy city street while high on drugs. In court documents, Jesse Prince admitted to being a male prostitute. Let me see if I understand that. That means women paid you to have sex with them. Correct, sir. And he confirmed he had incest with his sister. So when that starts, when I was young, I used to have oral sex with my sister? Yes, sir. Everything on that page your handwriting? Yes, sir. Then there's the violent side of Jesse Prince, who had this to say to a senior executive of the church. I'm coming with a dick so big, I'm gonna knock his goddamn spine out. <laughs> More to the point, Jesse Prince has taken big money to give false testimony about the church. In one case, over $300,000 from known church attackers to lie under oath in a court of law. Once set up with a house, a car, and a generous allowance, Jesse Prince swore to the court that he had pulped three feet of file folders into a little vial at the order of the leader of the church. But the lie caught up to Jesse Prince when all three feet of files were presented to the judge fully intact. The judge was not happy. Not only would she not allow Prince onto the witness stand, she admonished him over and over. He was extraordinarily biased, and really, frankly, he said and would say that he couldn't tell the truth. He would tell you under oath that he wouldn't care if he was under oath or not. He'd lie. Do you think that any judge would allow that man to testify? 
No, I don't think they would have. Then she told Prince's lawyer, Mr. Prince, quite frankly, in this court's opinion, is useless to you as a credible witness. But being kicked out of a courtroom for being biased and not credible doesn't make Jesse Prince useless to Lawrence Wright, who uses Prince throughout his book as a reliable source. Would it be fair to say that you had some problems in terms of morals and ethics? No, sir, I think I was just a normal American boy. You think normal American boys have oral sex with their sisters? Some of them. Now, Lawrence Wright, Alex Gibney, and Sheila Nevins, HBO's head of documentaries and family programming, are trying to pass off Jesse Prince as a credible witness in the court of public opinion. But as Sheila Nevins says... You gotta do what you gotta do. In future segments, we're going to show you more of Lawrence Wright's sources. Remember this guy? The ringleader of that tiny group Lawrence Wright befriended and used to tell false stories about his former religion? Shut the fuck up. I'm he was dismissed right now, and expelled from the church for criminal activities. That's criminal, as in felony. His resume also includes episodes of shoving, kicking, punching, and extreme violence, and a honeymoon night spent in jail. But Lawrence Wright doesn't reveal any of that or any other sort of detail about this man. You'll also meet those this man calls his posse, such as the guy he nearly killed, who he now calls his best good buddy. This guy deserted his children and ruthlessly attacked his estranged wife. The thief who used to ride shotgun with the ringleader on his punching sprees, admitted accomplices in a scheme to suborn perjury, getting others to lie under oath. And another Lawrence Wright source, the lady expelled from the church for having sexual relations with someone she was ministering to, a violation of professional conduct in any church. You'll meet her too. The paid tabloid source and his wife, whose frivolous lawsuits were repeatedly thrown out of federal court and the couple ordered to pay the church $40,000. And the writer, who took advantage of his Scientology connections to take $5 million for writing scripts he never completed. Lawrence Wright and Alex Gibney could have shown you the truth about Scientology. For this is Scientology Today. A rapidly expanding religion with new churches opening by the month throughout the world. But instead of showing you this, Wright and Gibney have chosen to give you this man. Shut the fuck up. And his tiny group of followers. That's right. This guy the is the up. leader of all Lawrence Wright's sources. Shut the they fuck are interconnected, up. each of them corroborating the other's false stories and lies. Some for big bucks. All of them handpicked the to populate up. the story Lawrence Wright and Alex Gibney want to sell. Shut the fuck up. Lawrence Wright, Alex Gibney, and executive producer up. Sheila Nevins know full well who these people really are. But you won't Shut see that up. on HBO. Shut the fuck up. <laughs>